Um, next tip. Using mouse gestures. Oh, I like this. Um, if you don't want to, if for example you want to rotate this cube, you don't want to press the R button. If you, well, pressing the R button doesn't take that much time, but if you're short on time and you don't want to, just use the left mouse button and draw a Z. And there, look, you can rota rotate it. Or Z if you're talking British English. Um, you can rotate it, that's cool. Or the draw line away and back to the object, you can scale it. This is The Hobbit Way, There and Back Again by Bilbo Baggins. Don't oh, forget that. I just watched the movie a few days ago again. And to move, just draw a simple line and you can move it. The line should work any way you draw. Just draw it somewhere in the 3D viewport and you can do it. You can also draw the Z anywhere you can rotate it. Or draw that line anywhere and you can scale it. This doesn't matter. Just draw the quick line and there you go. And scale that. Rotate that. Something really useful if you want to work fast and efficient. Next tip. Layers. Layers. You've got your layers down here. Well, I think I'm going to have to split this into two separate tutorials. This is getting quite long. And um, you've got... Um, how many... 10 layers? No, 20 layers here. That's quite a lot. And layers are really useful. You see all my objects here are on layer number 1. Layer number 2, they all disappear. You can select multiple layers by press holding shift and clicking on them. If you need that, there's also a shortcut to select all layers, but sorry, I forgot that. I gotta look that up. Maybe I'll show it in the next tip special. And organizing objects and layers is very efficient. For example, I like putting my cameras and lamps on another layer so they don't well they don't come get into my way when I'm working on my object. So for example, when I press A, I select the lamps and the camera, and that gets annoying. I don't want them selected. So, just move them on a different layer. Oh, now <laughs> for the tip. To move them on a different layer, select them. You gotta be in edit mode, object mode for this, sorry. Press M, and click on the layer you want to move it to, and then just click OK. So the lamp is now on layer 2. That's cool. Now, um, next tip. Yeah, undoing changes. This is probably a really important one. Just press Control Z to undo and Control Alt Z. Damn it, I don't have enough fingers to do that. Ah, accidentally pressed something else there, but I managed to click Control Alt Z. I'm only working with one hand here. The other has to hold my mic to the mouth because it's really bad quality otherwise. Control Z to undo and Control Alt Z to redo changes. Okay, now for the f next tips. You're gonna, you're gonna have to be in edit mode. Press tab to, where, uh, to go to edit mode, just select it down here. Now pressing tab is not like most people tell you, does not switch between object and edit mode. Pressing tab switches between the last mode you selected and edit mode. No matter. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna go to UV and then object mode. It, pr it always switches between edit mode and the last mode you selected. Okay, I didn't talk. I just thought I talked crap there edit mode and the last mode selected. Not always object in edit mode, so you can always select your modes down here, too. If you're getting confused, too. Why did I just we're going to that mode? That's not what I wanted. It looks weird for some reason. Okay, be sure to get into edit mode now. Click something like that. And now if you want to, for example, change, um, if you've got triangular faces in here. Now, to just show you, simulate that, I'm just select this first face here. Delete it. Go into vertices select, press shift, hold shift and select these vertices, press F, create a face, and then create these, uh, select these, press F, create a face, and I've got two uh, triangular faces here. Triangular faces don't behave very well with, um, with s uh, models, uh, organic models, subserving, they just don't usually, for modeling, I um, suggest not sticking to triangular faces. Now, to convert them to um, quads, as they're called, just select your triangular faces and press. Hold on, I really can't memorize this. And press Alt J, and look, they uh, convert automatically to a four-edged face, a four-cornered face. That's useful if you've got uh, triangular faces in your 
in your on your object and just getting rid of them is quite useful, trust me.